Okay guys, the guru of the lever action rifle is Andy Larson. He's, today he's gonna be talking about the do's and don'ts of a lever action gun. Hi, I'm Andy Larson with Skinner Sights. And you know, we're all about lever guns. There's a lot of different platforms that you're used to. You know, there's the bold action that uh, everybody's hunting rifle, the AR platform, you know, where you're using the semi-automatics, a few semi-automatic hunting guns, but lever guns are a little bit unique just to themselves. Now, as we've said before, when you pick this up, you know how to use it because you've been watching John Wayne and Matt Drillum use these on uh, TV all of your life. You know that you can just shuck shells in the side of it and lever it and you're ready to go. Uh, but I'm going to show you just a few things that might make that a little easier and a little more intuitive for you as you as you progress. And I sure hope you get one of these because if you get one lever gun, you'll be hooked and and you'll you'll have more. We know that. First of all, let's talk about loading the lever gun. When we're loading the lever gun, we have the side gate here. This is the King's Patent gate. Uh, was added, you know, clear back in the late 1800s. But it made it easy, and that's what you've seen on TV, to load the ammo. So you take your first round, you start it into the tube, and leave it stick out just a little bit. Then you can start your second round behind it and push on in. That way you can continue until the tube is full. So you can push that in, and it, uh, it fills up the, the tube. While you're using the magazine tube, it's important to note that we want to use bullets with a blunt nose. And I know there's a lot of controversy about that, but think about something with a really sharp tip bumping up against the primer on the back of the cartridge inside this tube under recoil. So if that was bumping together under recoil, there is the potential of a chain fire in the tube. Again, that's kind of controversial. Some people say they've never seen it happen. I have seen guns with that has happened. Uh, and the tube was exploded and the forearm was exploded. So that's really not up to debate with me because I've seen it. So we use these cartridges that are designed specifically for lever guns, which have large, uh, larger or rounded meat plat on the end of the cartridge. When you're unloading your lever gun, you can depress here and feed out the side and take them out. You don't have to work them through the action. Or if you do work them through the action, you want to lever it till you can see it, then back your bolt out and take it out. That way you don't have to work it all the way through the action. It's much safer. Some of the guns have a safety on them. Use it. You can put that on when you're taking the cartridges in and out and again, makes it just a little bit more safe. Another do for your lever gun is carrying cartridges maybe on the butt. Uh, this gives you, it's a butt cuff with cartridge loops, gives you the way to carry some cartridges when you pick up the gun. Uh, you know, you head out in the woods, you don't have to go, oh, I forgot my cartridges. So this is another good way to carry cartridges. I like to carry them in the new Skinner Sights cartridge wallet. This is a little wallet that we make at our Skinner sewing shop. Uh, you can hold several cartridges in there, it protects it from what else rattles around in your pocket. It doesn't bang against your pocket knife or anything else. And plus, when you need it, you can just reach in your pocket, you come out with all of them, and use that for an extra uh, set of cartridges to load. When you're shooting a lever gun, what's nice too is that you can always load what you've shot. In other words, I fired two rounds. Maybe it's a self-defense situation or maybe hunting. You don't want to uh, run around with an empty gun. Nice thing about a lever gun is it doesn't have to run dry to be able to stoke it again. So load what you shoot. I fired two rounds. Mentally remember that. I take two rounds, I load two rounds. My gun is full again and away we go. Great, especially if you're in bear country, uh, you want all the firepower that you can get. Another do is if you're loading, uh, or if you're shooting with a scope mounted on top of your gun, the comb on a lever gun is designed low for iron sight use, which is great with our Skinner sights. We also have a Skinner optic. So now you're, cheek weld is a little higher. You want to keep your scope as low as you can, but one thing that really helps is having something like this uh, padded cheek riser. We sell these through our website, made for us by Rob LaHaye at Simply Rugged Holsters, and that gets you a good cheek weld a little bit off the gun. There's a lot of things about lever guns that you're going to learn, and the more you use them, the more you're going to like them. Come visit us on our Facebook page, Andy Larson. Uh, look me up. We just love sharing our lifestyle. And also, SkinnerSights.com because we're saving the world one gun sight at a time.